In the gospel, we hear twice this interesting phrase, to change one's mind. First in regard to the son who says that he's not gonna go help his father, but then he changes his mind and decides to go. And then Jesus directs it towards the chief priests and the elders, and he says that prostitutes and tax collectors are entering the kingdom of heaven before you because you will not change your mind. Also in the first reading, we hear the same kind of phraseology when it talks about how those that were leading a bad life, but then they change to do virtuous deeds, to do good, they will live. And in both of these cases, we see this same movement of turning. In my own initial conversion, I can very much see this two-step process. I was in college at the time and there were a couple physical realities in my life that I was kind of suffering from and really having a difficult time with. And in that I was brought to recognize that, you know, like I can't save myself in this. And so my mom gave me this novena to St. Jude um, in hopes of a remedy to the situation. And my heart opened just that little bit to be able to say, Lord, I need you. And in that prayer, um, a lot of the physical sufferings didn't necessarily go away at first. But what did happen is the Lord revealed his love for me. He revealed his desire um, that I would be with him for all eternity. And I came to know how much he loved me. And because of that, everything changed. So as we go forward this week, perhaps we can pray for the grace of conversion, both for ourselves and all the ways that we need it, recognizing those areas where we need repentance in our lives to turn back to the Lord ever anew. And also for those that we know in our lives who may really need that grace, may really need that gift that can only be obtained through God's goodness. Let's pray and beseech the Lord to give them graces. And then when we encounter those graces of conversion in our own lives and in the lives of others, whether they be small or whether they be big, we can rejoice in the goodness of our Heavenly Father.